So recently I received these two mini gaming PCs from two different companies and I was a little confused at first. Just look at the boxes. They seem identical and even looking at the back of the box, everything that's listed there is the same. But it turns out they're both different PCs, different specs. So today I want to quickly utilize this Camryu AM8 Pro mini PC for showcasing this Batacera build. I wanted to take a look at this. Uh, it's a one terabyte, super clean, one terabyte Batacera build by Board Game Dad. And this is just more so to highlight like, hey, you know, all these little devices that I've shown that you could get off of Amazon, I heavily criticize them. There are free options out there that you can download. So I wanted to take a look at that today while highlighting this mini gaming PC. But if you already have a PC, it's not like you need to buy the one that I'm highlighting. Like this is just kind of, you know, two in one, right? But this uh, Camryu AM8 Pro, uh, it's currently on Amazon. They do have sales going on. But this thing has a AMD Ryzen 7 7735HS processor, uh, 32 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM. It is in dual channel, two 16 gigabyte sticks in there. And then we did have a uh, 512 gigabyte SSD, which you can upgrade if you need. And it's very nice with this mini PC. The side panel's just on there with a magnet. You just pop it off and you could change the RAM if you want, change the SSD. So that's nice that it's easily accessible. And then it has three different modes. Like on the top, you slide, you turn the knob and it has silent mode, which they say is suitable for movie watching and like light office work, doing them spreadsheets. And then you have an auto mode, which is like a medium mode and then a performance mode for games. But yeah, let's jump into this uh, one terabyte Batacera build because I've been wanting to check this out for a while. And it is available, like arcade punk, stuff like that. But here we go. So I just want to see how clean this is, scrolling through everything. But let's get to, okay, all games. We have 12,393 games. I didn't pay for this. Like this, you just download it, right? And it was done by somebody who's been in the community for a long time. So hopefully everything here, you know, is clean. It's supposed to be clean, right? So we got Dreamcast at 29 games. Let's go through the list. We'll test a few things here and there, but I just want to kind of see how everything looks. We've got our video, you know, scraped, our artwork, all that good stuff. A lot of awesome games that I would want to play. We even got Fantasy Star Online. No video though. I kind of like when everything has a video, but that's okay. Power Stone, Power Stone 2. Sega Genesis, 940 games. I don't think we're seeing like uh, a bunch of, you know, duplicates or anything like that. At least doesn't look that way. PSP. Very nice. Oh, Crisis Core. Dissidia. Final Fantasy Tactics. War of the Lions. Heck yeah. Concentrate. Wonder Swan. 91 games. I don't know if like some of this stuff is English translated or not, but I don't really mess with Wonder Swan. Daphne, 14 games. Oh my God, I was just looking through every drive I have and build for Daphne games, because um, I wanted to utilize them in a recent video, but I couldn't find anything. And I'm like, man, I probably just don't have a, a like a pie build that I have currently burned, but I looked through every hard drive I had. I was like, the heck, man, what happened to my Daphne games? There, there's some right here. And television, 200 games. I just kind of like wanted to look through each system real quick just to see how clean it actually is. And so far it's looking good. Oh, PS2, 92 games. You gotta be kidding me. This is a one terabyte build, so. Oh, Fight Night. Bully, Burnout 3 Takedown, Destroy All Humans, Dragon Quest 8. I love Fight Night. Oh my god. Final Fantasy 10, 10, 2, and 12. Both the God of Wars. We're gonna we're gonna have to test out one of the God of Wars. See how that works. But so far, very very nice uh, game list. And then normal Wonder Swan. Commodore 64, there's only one game. Fix it Felix Jr. Okay. Master System, 334 games. So, you know, you're not getting piled up with millions of games in each list, knowing that it's going to be, like, tons of duplicates and whatnot. PS1, 145 games. 
So it's more like a, a, a sample platter, you know? You getting a, a little bit of everything here. Oh, the Bushido Blade games, love those. We, we is on here, okay. So this hard drive, I just set it up, you know, you get it set up, written to a drive, plug it in, and on your Windows PC, you just gotta disable secure boot and then just uh, choose that drive to be the, uh, the Batacera drive to boot up. But okay. We, we've got a lot of stuff. Monster Hunter Try, Morimasa, I remember loving that game. A Thomas Wave. Fist of the North Star, Guilty Garasuka. Samurai Showdown 6, The Rumble Fish. MAME, 3026 games. There's gonna be a lot of MAME games here. But all your basic stuff. Turbo Graphics CD. Okay, so you're gonna have PC Engine and Turbo Graphics CD games in here. Vectrix, 38 games, and Vector Graphics. Sorry, Lynx, 87 games. Looks like everything mostly has video. I've only seen like one game so far that didn't have video. Jaguar, 76 games. And then TurboGrafx-16. Why is there three air zonks? That ain't right. Ballistics. Uh, this, this list is a little messy in my opinion. You got two of everything. So it's probably PC Engine and then Turbo Graphics version. Maybe. Yeah, this, this list is a little sloppy right here. Three Bomberman 93s. Hmm. Okay, so far, it was super clean until we got the Turbo Graphics 16. Ah, you know. I'll knock off one point for that. <laughs> Super Nintendo. This is looking, you know, you know, first page, you can tell. It's looking clean, and the numbers of games on here. It's fine. What was the Turbo Graphics 60? 414 games. So, yeah, that's the PC Engine and stuff in there because I, I don't even think there was that many games in the U.S. Atari 7800. Nintendo GameCube got 39 games. Okay. Very cool. Open Beats of Rage. Treehouse of Horror. I don't think I've seen that one before. SG-1000. Atari. Game Gear. NES. 1,200, so... Probably have Famicom mixed in here. Uh, a couple duplicates. A couple duplicates. But not too many, it looks like. But there are some. Sega CD. Twenty six hundred Game Boy Color. There's a lot of stuff on here. Nice little selection, man. N64, 477 games, so you know you got some Japanese stuff in here. Hmm. And some duplicates. Probably Japanese and then maybe European, I don't know. But it looks like there's gonna be some multi-region stuff. Yeah, you see the little flag, US, and then Japanese. Kind of a waste of space if you ask me, but whatever. Game Boy Advance, 1,000 games, so you know it's multi-region here. I like when it's separated. And then Neo Geo, 141 games. That sounds about right. Awesome. Sega Saturn. X4. That's the twice. Naomi? Hey. 
And there we go, 12,393 games. So overall, um, everything I've tested has ran. No problem at all, but I mean, it is mostly clean. I wouldn't call it super clean, because there was some duplicates here and there. And then some, you know, things that you want to play, and then it turns out it's the Japanese version type of thing. Uh, so that's kind of, you know, it is what it is. But hey, for a free build, like I said, I just want to highlight this, this PC a little bit, but more so this build. And just to point out, like, you don't have to buy, you know, builds out there. You can find them, download them, go from there, watch videos, learn how to put things together, learn how to make tweaks, add your own games, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, you don't have to pay for a drive. And I understand some people, they just want it to be just handed to them easy. They don't have the time for it. So they're going to buy a drive off of Amazon or a setup type of thing. And it's that's why I do those videos, you know, kind of give you an idea of what you're getting yourself into that they may not always be as they seem type of thing. And that's just the way it goes. So appreciate you guys watching, hanging out with me. Bye.